Alright, hello everyone. Today I received a big parcel. It contains a few packages I got from America. We're gonna find out what's inside. Just by the dimensions of this box I can tell there is an IBM Model M and I'm incredibly hyped. So let's begin unboxing. Because I kind of want to get rid of this box that takes up the entire screen of this video. Also forgive the noise on the background. This is my computer rendering a huge, massive video that you wanna see and you wanna like. No spoilers yet, but my sponsors probably already know that. Um, I'm kind of afraid to cut. I can't see where to. Never mind this and see where the seam is on this box. Alright, there it is. Hopefully. Come on. Yay! So here are all the things I've got from America. That's for the XP20 video, the second episode. It's a USB 2 to SATA converter. Nice. These things you can pop. Ooh! <laughs> Look at that bulge. Oh. That's a gift from the shipping company that I use. Look at that. Gone. That's the next part, and it's also for the XP20 video. A sealed USB 2 card. Alright, next, I don't know what this is. Oh, these are PC speakers. My camera ran out of storage, so I had to restart the recording. It's all fine. Here are the PC speakers. Five pieces. I got them for real cheap. They were just five dollars. Now I think they're 15. I don't know why. The seller raised the price so much. Like 400%. But it's fine with me. Oh, yeah, by the way, happy Halloween, my friends. It's Spooktober, or whatever you guys like to call it. What is this? Is this some paperwork? Let me check first. Then I have to censor it. Yeah, that's paperwork. Love this. That's also paperwork. Nobody needs paperwork. Oh, the final one. Oh yeah, and now the meat of this unboxing show. This is the IBM Model M keyboard, unused and sealed in the box. Ooh, you can feel the weight right off the bat. I don't think I can show it through the video. How tough! It's just a piece of sheet metal, basically. A real thick piece of sheet metal. It's so heavy. I don't have weights either, sadly. Now, this is the part for that exact keyboard. I think it's... 732nd of an inch oh yeah it says it right here it's just basically a very specific nut driver that you can't find anywhere this should work fine for the IBM Model M that I have here is the Model M from 1996 it's not actually an IBM I think it's a Lexmark but there is a little difference between those models they're both really nice. So let's get to unboxing. Oh, you can see that that is definitely an old package. So why this video is so fast-paced? Because I was in uni for like, I don't know, 8 hours today? Now I have to render the video, which takes about 3 hours. And then I have an auto school and everything just adds up and things in real life are on the way right now. We have some weekends though, from the 30th of October till 7th of November. We've got a free week because of 
COVID re restrictions. Right, unsealed the box. I don't think it was sealed. But it's okay. It wasn't used. That's what I cared about the most. Oh, how nice. Look at this. They also include the adapter. For a second I got a heart attack because I thought they scanned me. I thought it was uh, some Chinese card for a keyboard. But it's actually a PS2 to USB adapter. As I read that, and they definitely repacked it, as I said. Here's the adapter itself. I don't know. It's... It's fine, I guess. I hope it works well, because with the adapter I have, it sometimes lags out. I sometimes have to reconnect it, because it freezes and the keyboard gets stuck on a single letter. It just spans it. I don't know why it happens. Maybe it's like USB to PS2 and PS2 to USB kind of convert things. But I hope this will remedy the problem. Let's take a look at the keyboard. We are unboxing it for. Oh, nice. What a beauty. Ooh, the sound. I'm gonna include the sound test of this keyboard at the end of this video. I'm not gonna click anything, not to spoil. This keyboard sounds like fucking knife against glass, if you know what I mean. So, let me show you which number I got. There you have it. It's also a bit fragile because there are those plastic rivets. They can wear off and just break and it's gonna ruin the sound of this keyboard. I kinda plan to mod the Model M to actually support the screws instead of the plastic sheds that they use to connect the keyboard to the rest of its body. Which is basically a solid sheet of metal. Let's get rid of the box. Here's the keyboard itself. Seems like... It's definitely been repacked, but what's so good is that it's not yellowed. It's important to me. Am amazing design. No Windows key. But why is there no Windows key, you might ask? Why am I saying amazing design while there is not such an important Windows key? That's all because there was simply no Windows back when this keyboard was designed. It's a keyboard from 80s. And uh, Windows was released in, I think, 1985, if I recall correctly. So, no Windows game. I guess no problems when playing games. If you can even play games with that. I don't think you can, it's more of a typewriter. Alright, so here comes the obligatory sound test of this keyboard. And you'll find your pants sticky after that one, I can guarantee you. Here's how it sounds, and you should also get yourself a Model M, if the wallet allows you to. Amazing to type on, it's so good. It also sounds so meaty, you don't get tired of the sound. There are springs inside the buttons, so when you click, a spring releases the button back. And, th and that's where the sexy sound is coming from. Many people are telling that PS2 keyboards, the Model M's, are... Uh, worse quality, but I don't think so. It is just, it's just as good. I haven't had an IBM myself, but so far it seems good. It seems of the same quality, at least close to the original quality of the IBM Model M. Buy the Model M for yourself too. Have a great day and take care.